50,000, 51, 65, 90. Come, come, life, forget your losses. It's no fun playing with a dull partner. And I had hoped for a good game tonight, though there's little in it for me, just a couple of suicides. My dear Dad, I wish you would grant me a favor. A favor, a favor. Isn't that just like an idealist? I never saw one yet who was willing to abide by the results of a fair game. But I want these two. Whether I win or lose, I simply must have them. They are geniuses, and you know how badly I am in need of geniuses right now. Ungrateful, spoiled children always want to commit suicide over their first disappointments. How many times do I have to tell you? The game must be played. It is the law. The law? Laws are always in your favor, Death. There you are. I always said the universe would be in a wild state of disorder if the optimists had any say. <laughs> no, you must play the game. Who said anything about not playing? All I want is your consent to let me hear before the game begins. I'll bet this isn't so innocent as it sounds. Who are they? I haven't paid much attention to the case. You and the girl. He is a poet, and she a dancer. <laughs> a strong man and a beautiful woman. <laughs> Up to your old tricks again, huh, you sly thing? You think if they meet here, they'll fall in love and cheat me. <laughs> well, suppose I consent. What will you give? I'll give you Kaiser Wilhelm, the Tsar of Russia, George of England, and old Francis Joseph. That's two to one. Now that's dishonest. You're always trying to unload a lot of monarchs on me when you know I don't want them. Why, when we play, you almost go to sleep, and I always win. There's no bargaining in kings, my dear. I ought to give you a whole regiment of soldiers. Soldiers? What do you care about soldiers? Look at your figures again. You've been losing millions of soldiers in Europe for the past two years, and you're much more excited about these two rattle-pated young idiots. Your idea of the fair trade is to get something for nothing. You love too much. With such covetousness, how can you ever know the thrill of chance? I'll give you anything. You can't. Shh. Too late. He's here. You. You tricked me. You were only playing for time. Come, oh, sister, be game. All's fair in everything but the dice. And just think, if you win this cast, the other is half one. <laughs> You'll meet then. Who are you? I am life. I want nothing from you. I'm through with you. And who are you? I am death. Death, how different from my dream of you. I thought you saw her in a store, and if I may say so, you're just a trifle commonplace. I'm not as young as I once was. Once figure, you know. Huh. Look at her, a pleasing exterior. And yet you wouldn't be seeking me. She knew better. Alas, my boy, beauty is not even skin deep. That is true. Death, I've been seeking you for weeks. And I am always present. Where were you seeking me? I tried poison, but before I could swallow it, they snatched it from me. I tried to shoot myself, but they cheated me. The gun wouldn't go off. Oh, well-meaning idiots. So I came here, to leap into the sea. Very good, only hurry, someone might come. Why do you wish to die? As if you didn't know. Did you not give me the power to string beautiful words into song? Did you not give me love to sing to and to take love away? You, you ask me why I want to die? I'm not a slave. Slaves live just eating to be clothed. You have plenty of them. Yes, I have plenty of them. If I cannot have love to warm me, then I cannot create beauty. And if I cannot create beauty, then I will not live. Are you sure? That was love? I think it was only desire I gave you. You did not seem ready for love. False of evasions. What is love then? She gave me a girl who sold flowers on the street. She had hair like gold and body all curves and curls white like marble. I sang my songs for her and the whole world listened. Then an ugly beast came in off her gold and she laughed at me and went away. <laughs> that is love, my boy. You're lucky to find it out so young. Now I know it was desire. Why must she persist in lying? I am a sport and a lady, and I must admit that life is as truthful as I am. Listen, youth, and answer me. Did your sweetheart understand your songs? Understand? 
understand. Why should she? Women don't have to understand. They must be beautiful and fragrant, like flowers. And is that all? I don't know many women. I will show you one who understands your songs. She's coming here. To leap into the sea, like you. Because she is lonely, waiting for you. For me? But I don't know her. But she knows you through your songs. And you've been seeking me for weeks. Are you to be fooled again by this tricky charlatan? You, who have had enough of life. There is no place for cowards among the lofty dead. Death, forgive me. Life, farewell. Oh, we must play first. Oh, so it is you who are asking me to play. Come, life, do me a favor. Give me this one, and uh, the girl shall be yours. No, we must play. It is the law. <laughs> live in spite of myself. Death, I've lost you. Life, I hate you. Without love, you're crueler than death. Soon, the girl will be here. Then, you'll think me beautiful. That's the comedy of it. You probably will, you know. Promises, promises. Love comes but one. Who are you? I am life. Who oh, life, dear? I'm afraid I must leave you. I cannot bear you any longer. We're so white, so cold. What have you to complain of? Have I not given you fame and worship and wealth? What are all these without love? What? You without love? What about those who come to the stage door every evening and bring you flowers and jewels? One of them shot himself because you stamped on his flowers. Believe me, my dear, that is all the love there is. Love? That was desire. <laughs> desire when they seek you. Love when you seek them. No, no. Love understands. They didn't. They wanted to buy me in order to destroy me. And that's why I stamped on their flowers. <laughs> they, um, incurably sentimental. Good. I'm glad you did. Why? Who are you? I'm you. You? The poet? Oh, I know all your songs by heart. I've kissed every line. Always, when I dance, I try to dance to them. But why are you here? He came to throw himself into the sea. Oh no, you must not. What would the poor world do without your beautiful songs? Don't be afraid, my dear. I have won. Alas. Why did you want to die? His sweetheart left him. His sweetheart? So he loves someone? I don't believe you. How could any woman he loved when he sings so sweetly? His songs meant nothing to her. Nothing? Then she wasn't worth your love. She's like the men who wait for me at the stage door. She wanted to destroy you. That is life, my dear young lady. Love is the destroyer, always. It's all true. Life, love, happiness, it's all a myth. You must idealize someone, something, and then the bubble bursts. No, if she couldn't understand, no one can understand. Oh, how wrong you are. I understand. Don't you believe me? I danced all you've sung. Do you remember the bird calls?
you do understand, you do. Wing splash is so when you dance. You skim the sea gloriously, lifting your quivering feather breast against the sunny winds. Dance again for me. Dance my cloud flight. The loveliest of all. But I can never dance for you anymore. I came here to die. And you've forgotten it already. You're all alike, you suicides. Life's shadowless little deceit fools you again, though you've seen through her and know her for what she is. But I have found youth. Yes, and you've found love, real love at last, love that burns like fire and flowers like the trees. You shall not die, and I'll fight you for her. Love is stronger than death. Then life, you mean. Think of all the great lovers of the world. Paola and Francesca. Romeo and Juliet. Tristan and Isolde. I, I claimed them all. Who are you to set yourself up against such a gust precedence? You think he loves you. It is not you he loves, but your dancing of his songs. He is a poet, therefore he only loves himself. And his sweetheart, for lack of whom he came here to die. You see? He has forgotten her already, just as you will one day be forgotten. Why ask too much of me? I can only give happiness for a moment, but it is real happiness. Love, creation, unity, with the tremendous rhythm of the universe. I won't say it will endure, and I can not promise you will not someday be forgotten. But what if it is himself that he loves in you? That too is love. To be supremely happy for a moment, an hour, that is worth living for. <clears throat> Life offers you many things, I but one. She pours out the sunshine before you to make you glad. She sends the winter to chill your heart. She brings you love and desire and takes them away. She gives you warm quietness and kills it with hunger and anxiety. Life offers you many things. I but one. Come closer, tired heart. Hold out your weary hands. See what a pearl I offer to kings and beggars alike. Come. I will give you peace. Peace? Do you think I want to peace? I, a dancer, a child of the whirling winds, do you think I would be blind to the sunlight, deaf to youth's music, to my sweet applause, dumb to laughter? All this joy that's in me, scattered in darkness, dust in my hair, in my eyes, and on my dancing feet. And yet, life. Life is so cruel. Dears, we'll never leave each other. She is mine. Haven't you forgotten something? The game? It is half one. She too has found love. Ah? And willing to die, she laid her life on the knees of the fates. So we must play for her. It is the law. I'm not afraid to play. This time, I have you, Death. <laughs> have me. <laughs> No, life, I am cleverer than you. On this game hangs the doom of both. Of both? You lie, Death. I have already won youth. He cannot die. Mm, youth cannot die. True. But the girl dies if I win. Isn't that so? Yes. Well, and what if she dies? Hmm? He loves her, yet he cannot follow. Nay, he shall live forever mute forever regretting his lost love, until you yourself beg me to take him. Death, I beg of you. Ah, life on her knees to death. <laughs> I would not help you if I could. It is the law. Let us play. It is law. I 
come again. Yes, curse the luck. But someday, we will play for those two again. And then it will be my turn. Yes, but we will have lived. Until then, then you are powerless. I fear you not, and I will guard it from you. Geniuses. Geniuses. How brave, how strong, how beautiful is my love. Well, that was a good game for all that. See, that's the difference between you and me. <laughs> you play to win, and I play for the fun of the thing. But tell me, life, why is it you make such a fuss over dreamers and care so little for soldiers? Soldiers don't matter one way or another to me. But someday, the dreamers will chain you to this earth, and I will have the game all of my way. Mm. That remains to be seen. <laughs> uh, but what about kings? Kings are my enemies. Do you remember how careless I was during the French Revolution? <laughs> Well, I've had it on my conscience, and I think I'd feel better if I told you. Whenever I threw a good combination, I juggled the dice. Hm. I'm not surprised. Heavens, aren't you unscrupulous? And yet they call me unfair. Well, I suppose I shall have to keep my eye on you. I warn you, we'll stop at nothing. What's the game tomorrow night? A plague. And in that game, I regret to say, you haven't a chance in the world. Remember, I have science to help me. Science? A fool's toy. I sweep them all together under my net, the men of learning and the ones they try to cure. But remember that the sun, the blessed healing sun, still rises every morning. Don't remind me of the sun. Two hundred, seventy-five thousand, three hundred and ten. You must never let her know how much I mind losing soldiers. They are the flower of youth. There are dreamers among them. 